Hello everybody. Uh, a little late on the video this time. Yeah, a few days actually. Um, but today we're making a hat rack. And this, we're making two actually. I'm gonna cut this board in half. I'm only gonna make one for the video. But it's just gonna be a hat rack that you can hang your hats or your keychains on or whatever you want to. I think this is my brother. This is for my brother and. He said he really wanted one, so we're gonna make one for him for Christmas. Let's get right in. Let's get right into it, shall we? So we're gonna start by just cleaning up this edge right here. This is a pretty rough edge. It was used for something uh, like outside or something. So we're just gonna clean it up right here. Go see. All right. and clean we've got a good edge so we'll just do that uh, right to the other side all right so here my table saw does not go as wide as I want it to so we're gonna take a jigsaw lined up a straight edge and we're just gonna get the cutting line it up just perfectly and you So we've made it to the end and the clamp is blocking, so I'll just finish that off real quick. Alright, so once you got your two boards cut, or you really one, because I'm always supposed to be making one. You're going to make sure it's nice and straight and all of that. Which it is, you're going to pick a good side and you're going to start sanding. you got to sand both of them. Uh, but first, we're going to put a routed edge on. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Alright, so here... You're going to take your router, it doesn't matter what type of bit you have on, right now I just got to round it over a bit. <clears throat> you're going to clamp it to your table, you're just going to route away. Get to it. Make sure everything's flat and your bearings have something to run on. And you're just going to do that to all four sides. Make sure everything's taken down. Alright, just do it all four sides. Now, you got a bunch of sanding to do. But, once you get down to these edges, you're going to want to use one of these uh, block sanders. Only because you don't want to wear down all those edges and make them look un unnatural and make them not look good. So you just want to smooth them out with a block sander. But once you do that, get the front and the back with get the front and the back with your uh, random orbital on. We we'll get her done. Nice and smooth. You take a block sander and you're just gonna get comfy in it. Down all those edges. I can't bite as much You just wanna do that for all the all edges and once you do that, be ready to drill some holes. So here's how you're gonna drill your 45 degree angle holes if you don't have a Craig jig like myself. And you take your drill with your drill bit. At a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> Make sure that you have, have it's nice and stable. Take it, you're gonna semi line it up the best you can. We're just gonna go to town. Doesn't really matter what angle. Now we're ready for 
stain. Oh, if I haven't mentioned yet, we're using golf tees. One of my favorite things to use. These are hooks. This is just holding hats, not coats or anything. So these would be perfect. And my brothers do love golf, so I think they'll find this kind of funny. So let's get on to a stain color. Alright, so for today we got two different stain colors. We got dark walnut. I'm going to put on one. And I got red oak, but we're going to put on the other. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm making two. You guys are probably only making one. I don't know how many you can make four. Um, I just like switching up the colors so they don't match. So this is a brand new can, so definitely be careful. And it's just like any other time we're staining. Taking your brush slightly in. Squish, squish, start in the middle. And just spread it out. Nice. Don't let that soak in. And we're going to dry it off. Alright, so now it's nice and dry. You're going to take your rag. Yeah, all of those. Comes out fantastic. All right, now we're on your side. Same process. Put it on, take it off, and you're done. So you're just gonna once you've got your board done, you're gonna take your tees, and you're just gonna. Just like that. And these are friction fit, so these will hang up nicely and hang your hat nice. Look at that. That is pretty good. And that is about it. So once you've got this done, again, this turned out absolutely phenomenal. It's got the golf tees. It's super minimal. You don't even have to put the edges on. Just take your hat off. Hook it right on there. And this will hang right on your wall. And I think this came out really good. This red oak color always looks good. Um, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who's watching these videos. Put a lot of time into making them and editing them for the people that do. So I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy the rest of your, your evening. Thanks guys for watching. Bye guys.